Hey everybody, welcome back to Alchemy with Zero Phase. I got something that I am excited to show everybody, or at least uh, demonstrate. Um, some of you may know in my share drive that I've shared with everybody, uh, there is a chat GPT prompt I use to um, generate stable diffusion prompts, and it generates a, a positive prompt. Now, uh, I haven't been online, I haven't been producing videos because I've been sick, my wife's been sick, and we're just kind of getting over that. And so I'm uh, kind of excited to be back on here. We're going to start doing some uh, more uh, uh, how-to videos, just walkthroughs, and, and maybe just me screwing around uh, generating images. But what I wanted to show you this time, I'm going to demo this. Uh, I've refined, over the last few weeks, I've refined my ChatGPT uh, Stable Diffusion Prompt Generator so that it produces better prompts um, that are more relevant they and it also produces a very relevant negative prompt very customized to the positive prompt that it generates and as a bonus i got it to generate some pretty cool uh, and very creative uh, titles for the artwork that you could use so five possibilities where but i'm going to show you some demonstrate i'm going to demonstrate what this can do and how to use it in stable diffusion. So um, let's get started off on, uh, let's just come up with something here. Let's say a um, prompt for a very surreal uh, jungle scene with a waterfall and flowers. Atmospheric and misty. Ancient, yeah, let's do ancient, ancient ruins with a, a sunset cloudy sky. Okay, so, that, so all I'm doing is I'm putting in what I want to see. You know, and you could take this, throw this into stable diffusion probably come up with something if you have your own standard generic negative prompt so i'm going to put this in here we're going to let it go so here it's going to generate the prop positive prompt first i have this thing set up i for some reason anytime you put best quality masterpiece detailed with some uh emphasis on those with ak the images always seem to turn out really well <laughs> so it does put that at the beginning of almost every prompt. Now, if you tell it to do a, a really low quality prompt, you can do low quality, medium quality, or however, whatever quality, it'll, it'll adjust based on what you're telling it to do. Um, then it might not put that in there. So, uh, let's, uh, so, and, and it does include artist styles in here. Um, sometimes I include it, sometimes I don't. Um, if, if you don't want it, just, you know, copy that and let's, uh, Let's throw that onto uh, Stable Diffusion here. So we're going to throw that in the positive prompt. Uh, there. Okay, and then we'll go back, grab the negative prompt. Throw that into there. Okay, we'll adjust the settings. I, I for the purpose of this video, we'll do down to 20. I always, I kind of like doing that a lot of the times. Anyway, we're going to turn this up to uh, 1200. No, let's just do, let's just do 1024 by 768. It's a decent one, and let's just do two of those. Hit generate. tell that there are going to be decent images. You got some ancient ruins, some mountains up in the background, flowers, cascading misty waterfalls. Uh, let's see what the next one looks like. That, that one's even better. You got some cool ancient ruins and I mean just it's it's and it got the golden hour sunlight on the uh, clouds, uh, the mountains in the background. Very beautiful. Let's uh, let's run another one. Let's do a uh, a masterful portrait of an old wizard sitting in his uh, rustic home in front of a 
fire ethereal um, magical and dark high contrast shadows with warm vivid colors all right And here's the thing, by using ChatGPT, it's really crazy because it uses words and terminology that I may not have ever thought of. And what's crazy is that Stable Diffusion picks up on that. It knows these words. It's been trained on a lot of that. And so let's grab that positive prompt. Throw that over here. And the negative prompt. change the perspective to a uh, oh, whoops. to a portrait perspective I like nine, 768 by 9, 992 I am using the Illuminati diffusion for those of you who are interested uh, I love how it works it just generates pretty pretty good pictures uh, another one that's really good is the um, perpetual diffusion uh, I found that that one does a really good job as well so, okay, we got those in there. We're going to generate two portraits here. Ooh, I'm loving that. Now, it is doing this in a Rembrandt style, which is cool. So, let's go back to this one. I kind of like that one. So, hands are decent. You know, um, overall the aesthetic is really nice. I mean, it's just got that rustic look to it, old ancient looking face. Anyway, yeah, so these are great images. Well, he's really old, man. Look at those hands. It almost looks like a corpse. <laughs> you can emphasize and de-emphasize things as you need. <laughs> and uh, uh, now I'm going to show you something very cool that you can do with this. Okay, it's finishing up the prompt here. So... Just to show you what I did, if you can see this here, um, I said I want a list of five prompts for five different portraits of five different beautiful women and five different scenes from five different time periods in five different seasons. Each one should be a different art medium, including one, include one negative prompt for all after the list. And so, as you can see, it gave me a list of five positive prompts uh, with all my requirements and one negative prompt at the end. Okay, um, which should be generic enough for all the uh, prompts that we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the positive prompts. As you can see, I've got them copied. We're going to come over to Stable Diffusion here. We're going to paste these. Select that. We're going to paste these in the list of prompts. Okay, and as you can see, it puts those all in there. I don't think I need to adjust anything. Okay. Now we're going to come back here, we're going to copy the negative prompt. And we're going to come up here, we're going to drop that into, we're going to remove this positive prompt. We don't need that one there, but we're going to drop the negative prompt in here. And I think we're just going to do one of each. Since we got five, it's going to generate five images off these settings and uh, based off these five uh, positive prompts here that uh, this prompt generator generated for me. I didn't have to think them up. I just gave it kind of what I wanted. I'm okay with different styles and uh, it's going to go through and generate them. So this first one is supposed to be a uh, refined Victorian Lee Alpine drawing room uh, charcoal sketch. That was cool. It's going to go through these pretty quick. We'll go through them afterwards here. It's going to move through them pretty fast. Well, that one's a watercolor. That's beautiful. Looks like an autumn picture of somebody from like probably the 50s or 60s or something like that. Wow, that one's cool. 
Okay, so yeah, so we got a charcoal drawing. Um, you'd probably end up going through fixing face, but it got a lot of that really well done. This one is a what do we got here? Roaring Twenties <laughs> pastel painting. Uh, the next one is a Mer uh, Radiant Bell from American South, which is this one right here, rendered in uh, very deep uh, watercolor, which is really nice. Um, and we got this one here, which it did as a, uh, um, what is it, Hollywood Actress, 1940s. Okay, that was 10 years off. Acrylic painting. Cool. And then the last one is a uh, uh, futuristic cyberpunk heroine standing illuminated cityscape, cherry blossoms doodle sp in, in digital spring bloom. <laughs> that's interesting. So and that's that one there. So that's not bad. Like, these are things you could work with. So you can be very creative with how you use this prompt. Now, I, I am going to say this right now. I'm, I'm announcing this. I'm demoing this because um, I'm going to be putting this prompt. I've created a manual with it um, and some, with some examples. And I'm going to make it available on Etsy. So I'll include the link down below. Um, go have a look. Uh, I know we're used to having things free a lot of the times, but I got to make money on on my knowledge, and I guarantee you're going to be super happy with this uh, and what it can do. So, uh, love to hear the comments, and uh, talk to you guys later.